What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Pain Fro Games, and we have some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet news and leaks to talk about today. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the new Ghost Puppy Pokemon, some more Riddler Koo tweets, and much, much more. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like the video. I really appreciate it. Starting off with Riddler Koo, Riddler Koo told us about Griavard back in August and actually back in June in his original tweet, but he literally told us exactly what the Pokemon was gonna be. It was a dead dog that literally looks like Litwick. And it, it is, it's a ghost dog. It literally has the Litwick candle on its head. So that was a really direct hint and honestly, Good for Riddler Koo for actually giving us something very direct. And then he follows up with a picture of the Pokemon. And then he tells us, he also told us a hint about the evolution. So we're going to have to wait and see what that evolution is actually going to be for Griovar. But I do think it's going to be something spooky, something scary. I mean, this thing looks like a big physical attacker. It's going to be like a mean dog when it evolves. So hopefully it's like an evil spirit type of dog. I think that would be really cool for this Pokemon and potentially could be good in competitive play. And there's actually some really cool lore behind this Pokemon's name. So its name is a combination of Greaves and Briard. And Greaves is the unmelted residue from making tallow, once widely used to make candles and in dog food. So it really fits in there. And a Briard is a French sheepdog, which is similar to Spain's sheepdog, the Cataline sheepdog so that is their combination but there's also some other references that create this pokemon a couple of the other references is a black spirit which is a nortic slash english spirit which is like a black dog that watches you at night could be a good thing could be an omen it's very interesting there's also a wolf in america that is very similar to this that is sort of like a spiritual native american wolf so there's a couple of other things that relate to this i just overall think this is a very cool pokemon now this twitter user found something really really interesting. I'm going to take part of the things they said here because I actually really do believe this. So we know that there are three new dog Pokemon coming to Scarlet and Violet. We have seen Fido and now we have seen Grievard. And the last dog Pokemon is supposed to be a dark type. We all know these Pokemon evolve once and they're all going to be mono type. But I just noticed something very interesting from this tweet. Fido starts with an F and it's a fairy type. Grievard is a ghost type and it starts with a G. So the dark type Pokemon is definitely going to start with a D. Don't know what they're going to call it. Maybe it's going to be like Darko, who knows. But, you know, it could be something like that. And if I remember correctly, Riddler Koo was hinting at all three of the dog Pokemon. We already saw what he was hinting at Grievard. And for Fido, he was showing off like a dog in a loaf of bread. So I'm thinking the dark type dog is going to be some sort of Cerberus. We don't know if it's going to be menacing or something, but I think it's going to be a dog that has multiple heads. Maybe it's going to have two heads and evolve into three heads. Maybe it's going to have one head and then evolve into three heads. Could be very similar to that Hydra gun in that way. We don't know for sure, but I'm going to put my money on. It's going to be some sort of Cerberus Pokemon. I wonder what type of dog it's going to be on. I had some people say potentially could be a Chihuahua. That'd be pretty funny. Maybe it'll be some sort of Terrier. Maybe be some sort of Hound. I'm really interested in hearing what kind of dog you think the dark type dog is going to be. Now back to Riddler Koo. And he's talking about my favorite topic in Scarlet and Violet, which is Paradox Pokemon, which we still have not seen officially yet. And I don't think we're going to see officially until maybe the last trailer, or maybe they won't even show it to us at all until we hit that data mine. So if you didn't see the previous video, we actually covered the first three facts, but to give you guys a quick rundown if you missed it, the first fact is he says all Paradox Pokemon are dual types. So if the Pokemon was previously only having one type, let's say Suicune, Suicune would have a water type and an additional type. So everything's going to have two types. Then the second fact here is in Pokemon Violet, there is zero Steel type Paradox Pokemon. And then in Pokemon Scarlet for the third fact, there are zero Fire type paradox pokemon now to the fourth fact here which is 17 he just says this word 17 so what could that be related to well when we really think about what does the number 17 potentially could mean that is probably hinting at types i mean he's been talking about types his entire time he said dual types no fire no steel so 17 types which means probably using 17 of the 18 types total and it really seems to be that there's not going to be any usage of the normal type, which I think is great. Honestly, I don't want to see any more normal types. It's, it's not a cool type. It's a lame type overall. 
So no Paradox Pokemon is going to have a normal typing, but they will be using one of the other types. All of them will be using at least one of them besides normal, which is really interesting because this means Kaka was wrong with his leaks before. So this is really going to open up which Pokemon are going to have which types now because there was a couple of types that were completely excluded, like Steel type was completely excluded. But now that we know that there's at least one Pokemon that has Steel type, and we know that's going to be in Pokemon Scarlet because Violet does not have a single Steel type Paradox Pokemon. Riddler Koo then says, all Paradox Pokemon are keeping their original type. That's all. Now you can get all the Paradox types via deduction. Enjoy. So how I interpret this is, yes, they're all dual types. Yes, they're all going to be keeping one of their original types. So that doesn't mean, oh, Tyranitar is still going to be rock in dark. That means Tyranitar is going to be rock in something else or dark in something else, right? So... We know half of the types already. We just don't know which half is necessarily correct. And because Kaka has now been proven to be illegitimate in, his, in the type conversation at the very least, then this really opens up a lot of doors and possibilities of what these paradox typings can be. And I'm really interested because if we're using all but normal typing, there's going to be some crazy type combinations. And we actually already know some of them for sure that were confirmed by Riddler Koo. The Volcaronas were confirmed. We know Scarlet's Volcarona is going to be Bug and Fighting. And then in Violet, the Volcarona is going to be Fire and Poison. So we already knocked out two of them straight up right there. And speaking of those Volcaronas, Riddler Koo does mention, repeat again, it is so unfair that none of the past Paradox is Fire. This group got shafted compared to the others. Future Moth should have been put in Ancient because it's Fire. So right there, he does confirm that Volcarona in Violet is going to be fire and it's not going to be fire in Scarlet and we already knew it was going to be bug fighting so apparently Pokemon Violet is the better version according to Riddler Koo I mean I know a lot of people are going down that route especially with Cyrilage versus Armor Rouge which I have to say I love them both but I'm a little bit more team Cyrilage but I definitely want a shiny hunt for both of them no doubt but it seems like Pokemon Violet is also winning in the Paradox department so maybe that's going to be the better game overall. I mean, of course, that's subjective, and that's going to be up for us to decide once we see the data mine of all the Pokemon, all the types and stuff. But, I mean, he's seen the game, and he's thinking that, so we're just going to have to wait and see on more information. And if you don't know, here is the list of the Paradox Pokemon for Pokemon Scarlet. The types aren't 100% confirmed. If they're blacked, they would have a question mark. We aren't sure, but everything else has been confirmed by the leakers. And, I mean, Amoongus, Jigglypuff, Mischievous, Volcarona, Salamanch, Donphan, Magneton, and Suicune. Seems like a pretty solid bunch, but then when I compare it to Violet, I'm just a bigger fan of this group of Pokemon overall, personally. I mean, Delibird's pretty lame, but, you know, Gallade is pretty cool. Hariyama's cool. More Volcarona. Tyranitar. This other Don fan. I think Tyranitar and Hydra Gun are really carrying this for me in Gallade. So I'm probably going to lean towards Pokemon Violet when I'm picking my two versions, but we'll have to see in the data mine what these Pokemon actually look like. Lastly, Riddler Koo is telling us some terrestrialized hats, and he's going to be telling us the Steel type hat. It's going to be one of the four here, Halloween edition, and there's a screw, an axe, a wrench, and a hammer. I would say the axe is too violent. The hammer potential, the wrench, uh, I can see a, ha a hammer helmet or something, like a hat, but a wrench I wouldn't see, axe too violent. I think the screw, though, makes the most sense personally, especially because like we've seen the screw used in Steel-type Pokemon before, like the Magmite line. And honestly, if you've seen this famous picture, I don't need to explain it. You already know what's going on here. Where's that screw? I, I, I can't tell you. But uh, Riddler Koo then tweets out, what's the next one you want to know between Electric, Ground, Psychic, and Fairy? And I voted for Electric because, you know, out of these types, that's my personal favorite. And he says Fairy is meh. And unfortunately, Fairy is winning and most likely going to win this pool. And I bet it's going to be like a cake or like a flower or something. I don't know. Not really too excited to see about the Fairy hat. But the data mine is soon. So we're going to see all this information very soon and we won't need the leakers for a while once the data mine happens so that's gonna be really exciting well guys that is all the information i have for pokemon scarlet and violet for you today i hope you enjoyed this video and definitely let me know in the comment section below what new pokemon you're currently most excited for we've seen 20 new pokemon and we're about three weeks away so one i hope we can see more pokemon but right now i'm really excited for all the pokemon that we've seen so far well guys thanks for watching if you're new please subscribe like the video catch you guys next time peace out have a great one